Hi guys, Robin Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here, and today we're going to have a look at The Gut Movie. A bit of a review about the new movie, The Gut Movie. So, set in Australia, it's an Australian documentary, in which a guy looks at the microbiome of his gut health, and how it affects him, how it affects how he lives, and his ability to combat disease. So it is a health documentary, all about how we can change our gut microbiome. So the documentary starts out with Carl Brock, and he's our presenter, more or less, throughout the whole documentary, which goes for about an hour. Now he has his test done, he gets his poo tested, and that's one thing about this documentary is that it is very light-hearted in a way. There's no fear-mongering like you might see in a lot of other health documentaries. It's no, you do this or you will die sort of stuff. It's looking at a very generalized way to do it because there's no one right answer. So it does take it in a light-hearted manner and, you know, there's lots of little laughs about poo during the whole thing being related to that gut health and what comes out the other end. He has his poo tested and you know, he's down in the lower end, being in the Western society, being around with a lot of other sort of people down in that lower end where there's not a lot of culture going on in his gut. So his mission then is to try and change that. So there is a lot more culture going on inside his gut. And one thing is, being an hour long, there is a lot of information packed into the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it was, of that movie just putting all that information in to give you the backstory, the brief history, the medical science as to what happens with that culture in the gut and other different things and studies that they've done and seen as to how it all impacts on health. So once all that stuff's out of the way, and there's a lot in there guys, so do yourself a favour and give it a look. And it never gets into, you know, one solution fits all, as I mentioned previously. They know. It's not going to fit everybody. So in order to change his gut health and to get more, a better microbiome system happening inside his gut, he travels over to South Africa, to Nam Ibia. So he goes and lives with a tribe that they call the Bush people, or the San, S-A-N. Goes to live with them for a week and a bit. And while there, you know, loses his phone, his laptop, the film crew is still with him obviously, otherwise it would be a pretty short documentary, and it tracks, you know, what he eats, how they live, and stuff like that, so, you know, protein becomes only what they can hunt, and they very rarely catch anything, it becomes more plant-based, there's a lot of starch and natural sort of stuff, 100% natural, going on for that week, and so he takes, then, a sample of poo from three of the tribesmen, the gatherers and the hunters, as well as his own at the end of that week, and takes it back to Australia to look at the difference. And then it puts him into the higher category, where there's a higher concentration and diversity of that gut culture. And it really shows, like, they blame a lot on antibiotics, so they believe that we're born with a whole diverse culture in our gut. And taking antibiotics and our over-reliance on antibiotics kills everything rather than just the bad stuff. And then what grows back overtakes. It really paints a picture of how the Western world, how our first thing is to grab those antibiotics from the doctor when we have a sniffle or whatever. So I guess the main, one of the main messages is don't rely on medication for every little thing. The more you change your gut culture, the healthier your gut becomes. And the healthier you become from that. And the other main message is that diet. Diet is so important. Now I will admit, while watching the movie I did have a large popcorn, because I absolutely love popcorn, and it's probably something, you know, it's not really good for my gut. But at the end of the day, it can be reversed and reversed back by what we eat. So the sooner you start eating better, the better it is. But if you have a week or you know a couple of days where you're just eating crap on crap, and I'm not talking literal crap, given 
all the other stuff in the movie. I'm talking like the soft drinks, the processed foods, everything like that. You'll change it back down to that lower, diverse flora and fauna in there. All up, I would give this movie, you know, roughly about a 7 out of 10. You know, 7, verging on a 7.5. It was very humorous, light-hearted, easy to understand in many ways, but it does have a bit of complex stuff in there too that you might require a little bit of research or knowledge in that area to understand completely the first time you view it because there is so much information packed into that first 15, 20 minutes. Kale's very likeable. There's no pretentiousness, like there's no wankery about it all. He doesn't claim to be anybody special or an expert in the field. All the people, at the medical advice and the scientists and stuff, they're all, you know, no fear mongering, which is so great to see from these documentaries. The reason I'm not giving it a high score is possibly because of the runtime. So you get that first 15, 20 minutes of condensed information, and then probably the last 5, 10 minutes of condensed information. And then there's not a lot of scientific stuff when he's actually out there living with the Tsar or the bush people. It would have been nice to have seen a bit more in there, like getting to know how he feels how he feels the changes are occurring during that time out there with him even though it was an incredibly long time like it wasn't six months or anything like that but just to say you know maybe even the change in his body makeup but anyway guys if this is around I saw it at a fan force screening here in Orange if it's around go see it go learn a little bit more about your microbiome culture and yeah enjoy anyway guys that's it for this video like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I will see you in the next one.